The more I lend my money, I'll be rich and wealthy. The more I spend my money, the happier I am. <laughs> I'm the richest and wealthiest woman in this village. Hello, friends. How are you today? Hope you're happy and healthy. So, have you ever gone to West Java, especially Karut? Well, there's an interesting story we can learn from there. So now, I'm Jasmine Fatarani Sabuna, want to tell you the story. It is The Legend of Situ Pakandit. Once upon a time, there lived a very wealthy woman in a small village. She lived alone in a very large and luxurious house. Her wealth was plentiful, but she very, very greedy. Her name was Nyai Pakenda Ndit. I'm the richest woman in this village. No one can match all my wealth. There is nothing I love more than my wealth. <laughs> I'm happy with all my wealth. This jewelry is so shiny. I'll not let anyone take it. The gold, diamond, and all of this, there's the only one I need. No one richer than me. No one can take all my wealth. No one can take a little cent from me. No one can take, no one can take any of them. That what she thought about. She didn't care with the people around her, although they were very poor and were starving. One day, a very old woman came to her and asked for help. Nyai Andit, please help me. My son has never had any food for days. We are starving. Would you share your food for us? Hey, the ugly old woman. Food? My food is just for me. Get away from my house. I don't care with you or your son. Whether you're starving or even dying, it is not my business. <laughs> Nyai Pakandit showed it. She forced the old woman to get out of her yacht. A few days later, a very old man with a stick to walk came to Nyai Pakandit and asked for some water. Mercy on me, Nyai Andit. Please, give me some water. <coughs> I'm so thirsty. Asked the old man. Hey, the poo old man. I don't want you to take my water. Any drop of my water is only for me. No one can take any of them. With the heart, the old man went by. He used his stick to walk and stop by parking the end of He put his stick and showed it. Yay, end it. You don't want to lose any drop of your water. Now I will give you more water. He took his stick out of the ground. Suddenly, the water came up, burst into the air. Continuously, the water kept coming out of the ground and flooding it all. What? What is this? Where does all this water came from? No, my treasure! My treasure will drown! No! Said Nyai Pakandit while she trying to save her wealth. But it is too late. It swept all over the village and it turned into a lake. So now, people call it Situ Bakandit or Lake Bakandit. Okay, my friends, that's all about my story, Situ Bakandit. From this story, we can learn a lesson that we should not be greedy and stingy because it can lead us into misfortune. All right, that's all about my story today. Thank you for your kind attention. Have a great day.